types of creatures that live in the worlds beyond the darkness. What does the world look like through the eyes of a child? Do magical forces impact our world? Those are the questions tackled by Dark Dwellings, a short film by entertainment business management student Manpreet Babra. My name is Dave Lloydy, and welcome to this episode of The Blast Light. I really enjoy um, seeing, being able to see life through the eyes of a child. I pr feel like that provides a really unique perspective and allows you to play around with the world a little bit more and make it slightly more magical. The reason why I chose to create Dark Dwellings was because I wanted a project that would really reflect what I wanted to do um, in the end of my career. I want, like, I want to be able to create basically big budget sort of fantasy features um, with more of an artistic uh, visual element rather than focusing on dialogue. Working with children can be a challenge, but casting the right actor can produce magical results. Millie is a little spitfire. She was quite entertaining. She's quite a spunky personality, so it was a lot of fun to have her on set. We had a couple of trampoline moments together. It's just a matter of keeping her energized and whatnot because it was a, you know, they were very long shoot dates. You really have to look for someone who embodies the character that you're trying to cast for, because um, often what you get in auditions, uh, as in like the kid who stands before you, is who you will get on screen. You're really only able to give them one direction at a time. It obviously depends upon the age group, but they tend to lose focus and just choose one of them to go with. Manpreet's work is already getting praise and recognition from the Vancouver film community. I may sound cynical by saying this, but when I watch a trailer for a film, uh, I, I often see the, the problem with it. I often think this film is doing nothing for me, even just from the trailer. And trailers can be very misleading. But one of the things that I really appreciate about Manpreet's trailer is that it actually really makes me want to see the movie. One of Manpreet's main strengths is that uh, she's uh, got a fertile imagination and I think you know there's a way in which you can be a business producer and only be concerned about the bottom line and yet there are people who are also creative types who are, are mainly concerned if not exclusively concerned with the creative aspects but Manpreet is one of those people who actually merges both of those aspects in one person. Manpreet has many plans for the future of Dark Dwellings. My plans for Dark Dwellings is to pitch it as a feature I already have my mentor on board to help executive produce and obtain the financing, so that was really exciting to get. Um, and then in, we've developed a business plan for it and everything. It's just in terms of you know bringing it up to industry standard before we start to pitch it to investors and production houses. A lot of it's also trying to figure out you know what route we want to take with it, whether it's an indie route or whether we want to try and pitch to bigger um, companies. Today we journeyed behind the scenes on Dark Dwellings, the magical brainchild of Manpreet Babra. Please join us next time as we showcase other works of Vancouver Film School students on another episode of The Blast Light. I'm Dave Lloydy, and thanks for watching.